Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for today's writing tip. I'm Stacy Monty, I'm co-owner, editor, and writer at PrestigePros.com. Today I'm starting a three-part series about character arcs. Uh, it's not enough to write a great character, you really want to write a character that your readers can relate to. And you can accomplish this with a character arc. There are three basic types of character arcs, the positive, negative, and flat arcs. Today, I wanna to talk about the positive character arc and give you some examples. The positive character arc, or redeeming oneself, uh, includes the change arc and the growth arc. Those are the two kinds of positive character arcs that you'll find. In the change arc, your character believes a lie that affects everything else in his life. The decisions he makes, the relationships he chooses, how he interacts with those people, everything. In this arc, the lie plays out in the character's life as the thing he wants versus the thing he needs. To write the change arc effectively, you need to understand your character's motivation. Why does he believe this lie? Why is it necessary for him to change? Introduce your character in his normal world and then challenge that world. As he ventures out into the unknown, the lie he believes is challenged and he begins to see how it's not true. In the first act and into the middle of the second act of your story, your character will rely on this lie to get by. That's his belief system. Nothing's going to make sense to him as you take him on this journey. About halfway through the second act, he will understand the truth and he'll stop deceiving himself. It's at this point that he has to draw on his inner strength and overcome both internal and external obstacles by confronting the lie. In the climax, you'll reveal the reason for the story, what the character's journey was about, and why it was a worthwhile journey. By the end of the story, the character has changed completely, and the resolution will show the character in a new normal world. This character arc is also known as the quest or the hero's journey. Examples from literature include Sir Gawain from Sir Gawain and the Green Knight and Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. The growth arc, the second type of positive character arc, is very similar to the change arc in that the character has a flaw but in the growth arc, he's comfortable with it. The character experiences something that makes the flaw less functional, and that's usually the inciting incident in your story. In this arc, the character again faces both internal and external obstacles while trying to compensate for his flaw. This leads to a disaster of some sort that makes the character question his core beliefs. That allows the character to discover a different and better belief, and that leads to new behavior that showcases his new belief. An example of a growth arc is found in the movie Up. The main character begins the movie as a grumpy old man, but in his pursuit of his lifelong dream and his interaction with a young boy named Russell, he goes on new adventures and that changes his outlook on life. If you have a favorite example of the hero's journey, please share that with me in the comments below. I would love to know um, your favorite example. And if you found this video helpful, please like uh, us below and subscribe for more great content. Thanks for watching and happy writing.